Hi there, this is Anne from Odile Sinas Club. Today I want to do a quick tutorial to show you how to create these faux old sticky tape to, to embellish your journal. So they're easy to do, but you need the good product, which is not that hard, but uh, I'm using uh, masking tape that I took white and I'm trying with scotch tape, which is transparent and scotch tape that is not transparent. And honestly, they all look great. So I'm gonna show you how to create them, adding the color, adding the aged style. So I'll just show you what I did in this book. It's really simple, but on a glassine bag, I just added two layers, one scotch tape. And, and this one is a white one, not transparent. And the masking tape. And then if I go in here, it's just a little piece of scotch tape. And then recall where I put some here just a little piece of scotch tape that I kind of tried to control how it would be cut these two like that could be one or the other but I thought putting both together it's kind of it adds a layer and yeah that's great so this this journal is not really decorated well just a masking tape here uh, to hide the line so that's another idea so the journal is not really well decorated now so I didn't have that much of uh, prints where I can put the the tape like between an image and the page which is my my favorite usage of those kind of tapes it's really like to act like if it's actually taping the the paper i wouldn't put it on on a picture though because the uh, the product is not acid free unless you find scotch tape that is acid free and the acidity um of the the glue from the tape will eventually damage your picture so these are rules from my scrapbooking journey in those years so what i'm using is you need something that is kind of plastic or maybe um, a ceramic plate or maybe something that is just glass okay but you will stain it. So you want something that you don't mind stain it, staining. Then you need some alcohol ink. So uh, these are a pack that I ordered on Amazon. The colors are caramel, latte, and ginger. Honestly, the ginger one is a little bit too orangey for my taste but it still looks good um so anyway they were coming in a pack of three so but those two i don't see really a difference so anything that is uh, <laughs> in those kind of colors works i mean at the end you don't see that much so if you like the shade of the color you will like the aged sticky and honestly i should buy like a light pink or blue and do the same they would not be aged looking but they would they would have a color so what you do on i used this is this is just a cereal box inside that i rinsed i didn't even cleaned it better than that just rinsing it and you're going to take some tape. So you can do really long uh, stripes or you can do 
little pieces already ready to be used. So I can do a long stripe and when it's stained, I'm gonna cut just pieces of it or I can go with little pieces. What I find when I use little pieces like that is that sometimes the stain is a little bit better on the edges where you teared it. So I tend to prefer having little pieces, even if I don't really know um, what is the length that I'm gonna be needing. And honestly, when you start using that, um, you just go with the flow. You don't really need to know or you don't really have specifications about the length. So if I do like some that are that size, and if I do others that are a little bit longer, that that should be, that should cover all of my needs. And sure enough, if they're too big, um, I can use, or too short, I can use the long stripe so i think that with this mix i should be okay now i'm gonna do the same with scotch tape maybe i'm gonna add another one because might as well do a bunch at the same time and this uh, cereal uh, inside well when they're done you just keep it like that and you just come to, you just take them out of your plastic. So you don't mind if you, if you keep them there for months. You do a batch and then you just, you just use whatever you need. And when you need more, <laughs> you do more. All right. So okay, you don't even see me anymore, but this is what it looks like so far. And now I'm going to show you what to do. You need a sponge uh, or a dabber, whatever. And uh, this is already like stained from ink or stamping, rubber stamping. Then I'm going to take and I'm, I'm going to put some drops. Like, I'll just go with the same color everywhere. Just a couple of drops. And with the sponge or the dabber, you can, like, you just stain them. And you can leave spots where you have more or less. If you don't have enough ink, you just add more. And it's as easy as that. You can even like add a drop of the other color. If you have more than a color, you can just create a spot of another color. You could even leave like this one. I'm going to leave it like that just to see how it's going to end. And this one, I'll just. Wow, it looks great. Honestly, it looks great. I love it. All right, now <laughs> it's not no difference with the um, with the other kinds of tapes. Like I'm gonna put some, and I'm gonna use my sponge to just cover the tape, and then you let you let that dry. And that's it so I'm gonna come back with the version when it's dry and I'm gonna show you how to cut those sticky tapes so they look really vintagey and shabby and grungy when you cut them so they're not so perfect because I don't like perfection okay I'll come back I am back, everything is dry. We can look at the the stain that it did. Let me show you. 
goes up. It, it's really cute. I like it. This one that was a little bit more um, with the sponge. This was just a drop that I didn't touch. And this was a drop that I barely touched with the sponge. I even like the initial color, right? It's and we can see that on the edges, you have a little bit more of the stain compared to, let's say, if I take the long piece and then I tear it, oops, we have a little bit of white compared to if I remove that one and we look closely. So, this is the difference. Let me see. Yeah. So that's why it's great to have long, uh, long lines of tapes, but it's always, it's also a good idea to create more little pieces that you can just grab like that and you don't you don't need to tear them more so with the scotch tape now let me get a piece okay i have a piece here so i can just do a little niche here and then i keep i'll go whoops I'll go by hand. So instead of having, we don't see well. Instead of having something really straight, we have, we have curve, whatever. So if I want to cut it here, I can just go with my scissors and cut it straight. But this is not what I want. So I would just do a little clip and then I would tear them apart and at least they would be well you know what that one is really like almost straight so let's do another one because we don't want it to be straight all right this one is better so if I use it let's say in a book I could just do a little flip with that and now we can do just a flip like that there you go so really to cut your um to cut to cut it you you would just do a little a little niche and then you would tear it